seen my friend and she has told me everything. God bless you, did. Please. I would like you to understand something. What is? <sighs> Chinasa is your wife. And she truly loves you. She's not like every other woman. What she did was out of fear. If Chinasa had wanted you dead, a little in your dinner and off you go. But I bet you, Chinasa is not that kind of woman. Please, I beg you to please forgive her witness. Please. Can I ask you something? You said Chinasa loves me so much that she can do anything, right? Exactly. I can see that over and over again. Hmm. Can you prove it? Hmm. I'll tell you a story. So take a look at this. Ooh! Wow! And you know, Ekenes Ashwebi is yellow. It blends with the shoe. Yeah. Wow. And the bag. Ah, come December 26th. <laughs> hey! Wow. I can't wait. <laughs> Once we enter the venue, they will hear. Chinasa, Neka. What are you not saying? <laughs> Festival of fire. <laughs> this is pretty. Wow. Oh, sorry, sweetie. One minute. Okay. Hello, baby. I'm fine, and you? Where else? In the boutique, of course. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh oh, I can't wait to see you, darling. Please hurry. Thank you. <laughs> my gracious. I miss you. <laughs> I thought you said your husband traveled to China. Is he back? Husband? It's not him. My boyfriend. Your what? Chi, <sighs> you had me. My boyfriend. Don't worry, he'll soon be here. You have to meet him. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Hi, ladies. Oh my god, look at you, darling! <laughs> oh, baby, I miss so you. Oh, baby, you look good. Are you serious? Oh my god. And you too, my dear. You look exceptionally gorgeous this morning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, just the way I, I missed like you so I much. missed you more. <laughs> This is my friend. Her name is Chinasa. Chin. Oh. Bobby. Hi. Whatever. Yes. So, baby. I was just passing and I decided to come and check in to see how you're doing. You know I've missed you. I've missed you, baby. Come on. So, I'll see you later. I can't wait. Oh, give me some. <laughs> yeah. oh, my God. Alright, bye-bye. I will, darling. See you. Okay, baby. Ciao, ciao. What was mean of that? I should be asking you that question on Neka. What was that show of shame for? What? What if someone had walked in on you? What would you have told the person? Eh, Neka? Chinasa. Bobby is my boyfriend. And we're in love with each other. I don't care what you feel about it. Are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed, Neka? That young boy is old enough to be your son. You're still living the old life. This is the 21st century. You need to upgrade. Please. What is new in messing around with a boy who should be calling you auntie? Explain. What? Listen, this is the new trend now. Every woman 
needs a young boy who will be there for her at all times and as well able to satisfy her in bed. Chi baby, our old pot-bellied husbands cannot do that. They keep getting weaker and weaker every day. Let me tell you something. 95% of women, no, almost all the women, they are into it. This is what is in vogue now. Baby girl, you need a fresh blow. Sea spark. Finally built, young boy. Please, you heard me. Hold it there. Neka, let me tell you. I am in love with my husband. We are in love. I don't need no six pack, fresh blood boy to satisfy me. Anyhow, I do it with my husband. It's okay by me. I didn't tell you this story to announce to you that I have a boyfriend. I only want to prove to you that your wife, Chinasa, loves you so much. She will do anything possible to preserve her marriage. She's committed to this marriage. Unlike every other woman, Chinasa is exceptional. I can vow for her. So please. I never accused her of infidelity. Or did I? Not at all. Since that is clear to you, I want to let you know that I and Chinasa know how we started. Okay. We also know how we have been moving on. We also have in mind how we need to live the entire of our life, or ought to have lived our entire life together. Now, having said that, my sincere advice to you is to go back to your husband's house. Be a better woman to yourself, to your husband, and to the society. If you'll excuse me, I'm done with you. Get me my phone. Let me call my wife. I'm sure she'll be back by now. Thank you. Let me get it for you. Hi, the phone. Okay, call her for me. And the chinas? Why is Mama calling me? Eh? Her son has refused to take me back. Why is she disturbing me? She should be talking to her son, not me. Because I'm happy. She's not picking it again. Hmm? So Martins has not brought back his wife. Eh? After all, I told him. Call me that matches. This video will kill you. Hello? Hello, Martins? Uh, good evening. So after all I told you, You've not brought back your wife, eh? Your mom, I've told you to always relax and don't bother yourself on anything that has to do with me and my wife. Yeah? Shut up your mouth! I think you make go on again. Oh, you want me to fold my arms 
and watch things get out of hand. Okay? Listen to me, let me tell you. I am giving you tomorrow. If by the end of tomorrow you did not bring back my wife to me, oh, I will come to that your house. And I shall know who gave birth to each other. You or I. Okay, Mama, I've heard. Good night, Mama. Give me my drums. Abuja. Through the risk, got yourself a cab and traveled that distance to come and find out what the problem is. Abuja, I'm very worried because I grew up with you and your wife in that house till I got married. Therefore, there's no way I'll be at ease when things are going wrong. Please, tell me what the problem is. There's no problem. And if it so bothers you, why haven't you called her? You're not best of friends anymore. She's not answering my calls. So why is that my problem? Listen to me. I have a lot on my table to take care of. I will suggest that you get back to Abuja now that you still have the time. Or better still, why don't you just go to her village? Or you don't know your way to her village anymore? Anyway, let me give you money for transport. So take all of it. As for your transport, pay your cabman either back to Abuja or to her village. I'm done with you. Please, no fail. Auntie Chima, sir. Whatever, please don't send me my clothes. Who quarreling? Countless number of times I called you, you didn't even pick up anyone. You won't understand, Informa. We're not quarreling. It's just that I don't know what I would have told you if I had picked your calls. I don't know. I'm here now. Tell me what happened. It's not a story I can tell you. It's a shameful one. No matter how shameful, at least tell me so I will know how to plead on your behalf. <sighs> if I'm out. Please, forget about it, okay? There are things that are better left unsaid. Please. Atichina, so my point is that nothing is worth destroying your marriage. We all make mistakes. Forgiveness is divine. Informa, let sleeping dogs lie. Please. If God still thinks that Martin and I will remain husband and wife, he knows how to go about it. But if not, let his will be done. Mama, you're here and this thing is happening. If I'm alone, I have done what I'm supposed to do. I called Martins and I told him to bring back his wife to his house. No matter what the wife has done. But you know your brother now. 
He's too stubborn. They didn't tell you what the problem is too. Hmm. I don't even want to know what the problem is. My concern is for them to settle. That's all. Even if she cheated on him, he should forgive her for the sake of their children. Amazim, your brother is too stubborn. I hope you're going to spend the night with us. No, Mama. I really need to talk to my brother this night because I'm going back to Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. I thought you would have spent the night with us. Whatever it is, brother, you have to forgive her, at least for the sake of your children. Do you know what she did? No, I don't. That's what I want you to tell me. Tell me! I want me to tell you, but you went to see her. If it was that easy, why didn't she tell you herself? Have you thought about it? Don't you have common sense? Brother, even if she killed someone, or you caught her with another man, whatever it is, all I know is that it's just... What I want you to know, young woman, is that I need you to get ready. Get back to Abuja and mind your home. It's a new home. Go and make it work. And don't get involved with what does not concern you. And that's final. Excuse me. I know you're the only one that can help me achieve it. What is it? You know about my brother's case with his wife. Oh, oh, oh. So, I've tried to find out what transpired between both of them, but none of them want to talk to me. But whatever it is, I wanted to talk to him, to tell him that nothing is worth spoiling his marriage. Yes, I've, been, I've also been talking to him to, uh, to actually um, bring back the wife, you know, but he's been adamant about it. He doesn't want to listen to me. What really happened? Well, it's funny though. Um, they were coming for your wedding. Unfortunately, um, Ambroba stopped them. So when Ambroba stopped them and, uh, you know, moved them out of the car, so they gave her a gun. They told her to shoot the husband or they will kill her. So out of fear, she now pulled the trigger. Fortunately, there was no bullet in the gun. She pulled the trigger? Yeah, she did. She pulled the trigger. Out of fear though. Well, my brother has to understand that she did it out of fear. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to uh, convince him to know that it was out of fear. And, um, you know, he's still uh, adamant about it. But I know with time, he will come over it. She's still a shame of us. Uh, well, I'm sure with time, they will, she will, the guy will come over, um, um, will come over it. And uh, they will, you know, it's, 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 it's tough though. But, you know, just, they said um, uh, time heals the moon. You understand? So, uh, don't worry, I'll talk to you. Thanks. My sweet darling, I know I hurt you so. I apologize from the bottom of my heart, and I can never let you go. Forgive and forget. My I came down yesterday, so I decided to see you this morning. Hey, yeah, uh, that is good of you. What of your husband? He's fine. Look, Lucy, I have to be fast because I'm going back to Abuja this morning, and the cabman is already complaining. Is everything all right? Is what you already know about your parents breaking marriage. Auntie, I'm sick and tired of everything. Look, Lucy. You and your brother have a strong role to play now. Hmm? 
Both of you have to come together. Both of you have to put a stop to the single parenthood. Okay. Huh? You have to fight. Come together. Make sure you do everything or anything humanly possible to put a stop to it. Do you hear me? Okay, too. Or everything will soon be okay. Hmm? Yes, That's answer. why you have to fight. You have to fight for your right. Okay? Okay. All right, then. Wait, let me. Let's stay together. She's now in this village with us. Mm. So it's not her. It's not a new thing now. Tell me, my ears are wide open. <laughs> I heard that she wants to poison the man's food and she was caught by the housemaid and she reported her to the husband. Hey! Hey! So this guy is this me? Mm. He's very wicked! <laughs> He's a human being! Don't and she looks her. so calm and quiet! Don't mind her. She thinks she will control her husband's money as she wants. She thinks she will be controlling anybody as she wants. It will never work for her. Not all for her. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that saves her right. She was caught and the shit now belongs to her. Now she'll be in this village with us, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us go now. <laughs> From my purse. Uh -uh. I'm asking you who removed the money in my purse. Mama, I used it to buy. It. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want that in this house. I don't want it at all. Mama. Hey, don't mama me. Mama, were you the one that put that money in that purse? Hmm? Is it your own? Mama, the money we're talking about is just a hundred naira. Look at you. Just hundred naira. Hey, just hundred naira. Hey, Froy, he is swearing. Is that hundred naira your own? $100 is not, it's not Why big. Why are you talking like this? When I was in my husband's house, how much was I sending to you, you and Papa every weekend? Eh, hey, okay, how much you used to send to us every weekend? That was there. You are no more in your husband's house. This is your father's house. So you have to adjust. You know, no? Adjust properly. Because if it happens next time, a form. in this village that my daughter my in-law my this my dad let me go and ask her how far my darling i hear that she's too broke now she cannot even pay her meeting lady. <laughs> no <laughs> no that time she used to be the first to pay and every other person who haven't paid become a god <laughs> Let me go ask her how far my sister is. If you go there, don't laugh too much. Oh. I won't laugh too much. Just open your mouth this way. Please <laughs> go to your What is it? Oh, are you not selling melon seeds? 
So what you left your house for with your two left legs is to come and ask this stupid question. Oh, sorry. I came to see your mother. She is like, Onyeju no we ma no wane men to ari onyeju. Please, where is your mother? Since you know my house too well, you should know where to find her, don't you? Onyeju no we ma no wane men to ari onyeju. What's the meaning of this? Oh. Mama, can't someone rest in this house? Eh? I'm resting. You're resting? Yes. Eh, resting. What did you do? Eh? What did you do that you're resting for? Oh, if you eat breakfast, you rest. Yes, Mama, I'm resting. I'm eh. resting from the breakfast I eat. Oh, yeah, get up. Let us go to farm. Which farm? The work I do that you went to steal money from my post now. Mama, get off from there! You need to see Oh, yeah. Well, Mama. Would you? You're resting. You need me rest, yeah. You want me to rest, yeah. Take your cars. Take your money. Take your house. Hello? Hello? Hello?
Good morning, Barrister. How are you doing? Barrister, I'm not fine, no. I'm not fine at all. What is the problem? Barrister, I'm finished. Finished? What could be the problem? Do you have any problem at all with your husband? Barrister, please. Can you help me talk to, talk to your friend, my husband? Talk to him on my behalf. You're the only person he can listen to. Do you guys have any kind of problems at all? Barrister, as I speak to you now, I'm not in my husband's house. I'm in my father's house in the village. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you the truth. Tell me, tell me, what actually have you done? It's a long story. It's a long story. A long story? A long story? Now call the line. Let me call you back. I want to get every fact concerning this issue. Okay? Okay. <laughs> God. You know, there's no way I would have imagined that this is why you invited me to this place. Absolutely no way. Why? Because y y you understand by that singular action of that say. In the eye of justice, I'm as good as dead. So why is she sending people to, to come and talk to a dead man? Why? But you just set it now. Hmm? I said what? That you set her up. But let me ask you, Martin. Why would you like to set your wife up in the first place? Because there's no way I ever thought that my wife would even point a gun to my face not to talk about pulling the trigger. Let me tell you something. If the reverse was the case, there is no way I am Martin would have pointed a gun to my wife face not to talk about pulling the trigger. You I would are, rather die than do that. You are lying. What? Yes. You are lying. Are you Jesus Christ? Why would you tell me that you can leave your life out for your wife? Nobody born of a woman can try it. <laughs> except know, Jesus Christ. You know the truth about it. I think you're just stuck up in your legal system that you don't have time to relax and watch movies like The Titanic, Romeo and Juliet, and so many others. These things happen every day. But uh, yeah. we are talking about reality here, not imaginations. Okay? You know what? I'm beginning to be fed up with this whole gist. Do you want to drink or not? If you don't, I'll, I'll leave this place now. It's all right. It's oh, let me give you time. Hello? Barrister, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. How are you today? I'm just the same. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here, the same as you left me. Oh, listen to me. I'm listening. I don't want you 
to lose hope, okay? And I don't want you to stress yourself much on this. I think all he needs now is just little time to erase this incident from his mind. Actually, I've spoken to him concerning this issue. And uh, I know by the grace of God, he will call you back. Okay? So don't bother yourself. Hmm? I'll personally see to it, okay? Okay. I've heard all you said. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Good night. It's all right. It's all right. Take your cars, take your money, take your house. I don't need them at all. I loved you so, but now I have to go. One thing you must know, I did it all for love. I stood by you. I did it all for love. So tell me, why don't you believe in love? <laughs> love you say. <clears throat> Listen, it doesn't exist. Yes, men have dealt with me. Men have robbed me on the ground. They have broken my heart several times. Men will promise you heaven on earth. Once you fall in love with them, they just throw you away. All I have decided is, Make money off my money. Enjoy my son. That's all I have to say. Don't you ever think of it that someday you're going to get married? <laughs> get married? Of course I do not have that in my agenda. Yes, I do not have it in my agenda. All I want to do is make all the money in this world, enjoy myself, feel on top of the world, do so many things I want to do. After all, it's not every woman that must get married. Hmm. This is deep. But anyway, I will mix up by telling you that you're a very pretty lady. Thank you. You, you know, I think you deserve better than this life you're living. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, cancer. Oh. oh, what are you doing around here? With the boss. Yeah. Hello. Well, Actually, I saw your vehicle outside. I decided to check if you're here. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, uh, you want to sit down? Sorry, yeah, can we see ourselves? Yes, certainly. Okay. Uh, excuse me. No problem. Martin, who is that girl? What sort of stupid question is that? I'm sorry, but I must tell you the truth. You better go and bring back your wife. Bring her back. Instead of living this kind of life. I don't like it. You know the kind of person you are in this, in this society. What are you doing with a prostitute? For Christ's sake. When did I appoint you to become an overseer to my affairs? When? When has it become your business to monitor who I sit, where I go, and who I talk with? No, tell me. Have you forgotten that I'm your friend and a lawyer? Well, that legal point is what I understand very well. Now I have an instruction for you. I want you to go back to your office right now. Prepare every legal document necessary for me to disinherit my wife from every deed that I have. Every company property, every, co every personal property that we own together, every corporate account, even the CAC incorporation. I want her disassociated from it immediately. Martin, do you know what you're saying? I just told you. What I want and do it immediately. My sweet darling, I know I hurt you so. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, my friend, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Look, listen, I don't want it easy. I want it to be done, done. That's what I want. Well, if you insist, uh, you have to officially divorce her. Who am I paying you as my lawyer? Get the divorce people ready so that we can proceed. But Martin, have it in mind. There's no how you can divorce her and leave her empty handed. Certainly, you must share all you've owned with her into two. 
She takes one, you take one. I dare you ever conceive a thing like this. Me, Martin, share my entire property into two and give a woman one. It's not going to be possible. What are you talking about? I, Martin, I labor for everything that I own today. What is it? When I went to marry her from her poor father's house, did she come with anything? No! So why must I share my property today? Please, rephrase. I understand. Have it in mind that your bank accounts, your property deeds are saying otherwise. But, but I am the one, me, I'm the one who deliberately incorporated her into the business. She, she has never been an operational person for one day. I work hard for everything that I own today. So why would I share my property? Good, you said it now. She endorsed. You did yours. Not exactly as you're saying it. But for now, that is the stand. It's either you settle her, or you divorce her, or you go to jail. Yes, you're my friend. No, no, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Trust me. How can a man look at my look, look into my eyes and tell me that I cannot take out somebody that I put there myself? I was the one, I Martin, who said they should put her there. Mm -hmm. And if that is correct, I ask, where was she when I was making all the money? When I was running around from here to there, gathering the wealth together, where was she? Listen, let me tell you the truth. You see the advice that your lawyer gave you is the whole truth, nothing but the truth. How? Listen, I've been telling you, bring back this woman, bring back your wife home. You've been adamant. Listen, it is better you do it before you regret it. Bring her back before you regret the whole scenario. Too late for me, how? I'll tell you. If your wife goes to the court before you and apply for divorce, the court will automatically divide all that you have. You know these days, there's this sympathy for women. They will divide everything that you have into two. Give her one and give you one. So it is better you bring back your wife. Just take what I'm telling you. Forget about what happened, the mistakes and all that. Forget about it. Even at that, when you look into what happened, you are the one at fault. Or do you want me not to go and tell your wife what? Oh. Because you, 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 you challenged the devil. And the devil responded. Anytime I'm telling you something, you won't listen. I've told you before, you said no. Now, I am telling you again, you don't want to listen. Um, Papa. When are we going to see our angel again? The lawyer, his friend, said we should relax for now. That he's still trying to talk to him. If you ask me, I think we should hold on with the visit for now. I know why I'm saying all this. Our family name is everywhere, both in the city and in this village. You are right, my son. Huh? But if a man has brought in into his house an ant infested uh, firewood, he has actually invited lizard to a royal banquet. And people are always looking around, sniffing around to see what the gossip was. That's not the important issue. The most important thing is what we should be discussing now. Which is? Which is food. There's no food in this house. There's no money. We don't even have the normal small small provisions that we used to you know, hold hunger. People's farms that Mama and I used to go to uh, make some money by weeding their farm. We finished doing it. There's nobody's farm to weed again. What do you expect? That is the way it should be now. Since you no longer send them money. Are you not a man? So if I can't send some uh, money to them again, won't you? Don't you know it's your responsibility to take care of them in their old age? Or should I teach you what you're meant to do? I'm trying my best, but I, I won't give myself. Uh, you have to try her down. 
you will bring money for food. Start from there, small, small. We're not saying we should, you should kill yourself. It's okay. When I get to the shower, I will, I will know what to do. So I can Just like that. Just like that? How do you mean? Won't you give me small money to hold in my hand to take care of myself? I don't have any money to give. Business is hard. So business is hard. You, you can't find just a little amount of money to give to me. Mama is giving me tough time here. Please now just give me something little. No matter how little. It's okay. So you think I'm joking, right? I said I don't have money to give you. Okay, why are you being mean? Why are you being mean? You know it is difficult for me to stay in this house without money. Just give me something little now. Don't be mean. Listen, Chinasa, you are not my responsibility. Did you get it? If it's when you're single, I will say yes. Now when you're married, go back to your husband's house. I don't have money to give you. Period. Please, wait, don't wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish talking. Have you forgotten that my husband and I are a stepping stone to who you are today? And so? And so? Answer me. I should kill myself because you made me who I am. Eh? Why do you go? Go back to your husband's house. I'm not having any money to give you. Period. Is it? Oh, no. Okay, Chuku. This for you. Yes, is this US or London? This is US. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> I like this. Yes. How much for this? 15,000. 15,000? Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Yes. Neka. Neka. Hello, Chi. Neka, I'm not fine, though. I am not fine. I'm not fine. Frustration is killing me in this village. I can't take it any longer. Neka Bikono, talk to your husband for me, please. Talk to your husband for me. I want to come over to the city. I want to come over before hunger kills me here, please. Eh? Please. I've told you to stop crying over this issue. With time, everything will fall into place, okay? Please. You won't even believe what just happened. Okay, Chuku refused to give me money. He was actually shouting at me. Okay, Chuku. Hey! Neka, please talk to your husband, please. Hunger will kill me here. Hunger will kill me here. Did I hear you say hunger? Oh my god. Okay, okay, just calm down, okay? Stop crying. I'll do something about it, okay? Please. Just calm down. Okay, stay blessed. I'll call I'll call you back later. Okay. Bye. I don't know why this man is so heartless over this issue. Man. Sorry, madam. Oh, my dear. Oh, I, I really need that. Oh. Oh. you barge into my office unannounced. I can't remember inviting you over here. So you can be this mean, this heartless, as to abandon your wife in the village. After everything, I told you. Listen, let me warn you. Let today be the first and last time you come into this office unannounced. And the only thing you come in here to do is to talk about Chirasa. If you try it again, I'll throw you out. I have the security to throw you out. Is something wrong with you? It's obvious now that you're a pretender. 
you've been looking for an opportunity to send her back in. Now listen, let me warn you. If by the end of this week, you don't bring her back to the city, I, Nega, we personally put up plans to bring her back to the city. And when I do, you shall surely regret what you did. Oh, I'm scared. Get out of my office! You scalewa. Imagine him purchase. Do you know, I think these people have a plan. I told you. I told you, Martins. So what do you think I should do now? You want my advice? Bring back your wife home. What? So that you can live a normal life. Never. I'll do no such thing. I can never live under the same roof with that woman again in my life. Then prepare to divide all you have labelled into two. She takes one and you take one because there is no way, there is no how she will go empty handed. That is the position of the law in this matter. Um, what I've come to do today is to find out the true situation of the law as regards to divorce. Is it that I'll share my property into two? Or as a friend of mine was suggesting that it's going to be into three? She takes one and I take two. What is the true situation, please? Martin, don't tell me you're still thinking about this divorce. Oh, it's a settled deal, my brother. It is. I cannot live with her anymore again. Even if she decides now that we're sharing into two so that she can take half and I take the other half, I don't care. Let her go so that I can continue with my life. It's unfair. Listen, I, I did not come here today for you to tell me or lecture me on what is fair and what is not fair. What I've come here to do is for you to tell me the truth. Are you ready to tell me or not? Well, if you insist, it depends on the woman and her solicitor. If she accepts sharing into two, then you don't have any option. If she accepts sharing into three, like you said, better for you. My brother, listen. There is no how she will accept to share the property into three. As long as you want to divorce her, there is nothing on this planet Earth that will make her agree to your terms of sharing your property into three. You take two, then she takes one. It's not possible. She will insist on sharing it equal parts. You don't know women. Their mind is at the back. My own properties. Sharing into two equal parts between me and a woman for that matter. Whoever told you to think about something like that? Forget it. Okay. You want us to go into our bed? Listen, I will bet you over and over again if you want. And I will pay the money instantly now. And I also mention it categorically to you that as long as I live, it will not happen. You know what? I am the person that is filing for divorce. And when the time comes, I will settle her with whatever I didn't fit. And that is fine. Okay. I'm telling you that there is no how on earth since you have decided to divorce her. She wants to take a pound of flesh. She will share your property into two. You take her, she will take her. Don't be even too um, a surprise. They might try two to into three, she will take two, you take one. You're laughing. Okay. What do you think? Okay. 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 Yes, dear. I've rested my kiss. The last time I spoke to him, he said he's 
making arrangements for an official divorce. Are you serious? Divorce? Why? Cancel. I invited you today to inform you that I've decided to pursue the divorce process between me and my wife. And also I've decided so that I will settle her with whatever I deem fit. I will not be compelled by anybody to give what they want me to give. It's only what I decide. But again, I want to ask, are you going to follow up this process for me or not? That's my lawyer. Well, Martin, I'll put the process in motion. They just have it in mind that no one decides on this case except the courts. Very well then. Start the process and let's leave the rest of the courts. It's okay. Hey, so I'm going to continue like this. Hey, you can't come like this. Listen, let me tell you, this is the 21st century. We are no longer in the dark age. If it means I, Neka, your friend, renting an apartment for you, to come over to the city, I will do it. At least we'll be able to relax, look for a good lawyer. Then you put in for divorce. Eh? Divorce? You heard me. Now listen. The court will order him to share his wealth into two. He goes with one. Why you go with the other? At least this suffering will end, G. What will happen to our children? We go with one, ne? And you go with the other. It's very simple. That's the new law. No, no, no. I'm still in love with my husband. Just listen to yourself. I still love my husband. You're in love with a man that no longer loves you. Come, let me tell you. You don't know your worth. Taking a look at the real estate estimation, you're worth over one billion. And you're here in this miserable village, wasting. Just go to the mirror, take a look at yourself. You're a beautiful woman. You don't deserve to suffer. Your husband wants a divorce. So I will advise you to go and look for a lawyer who will help and guide you through the process. I don't need another lawyer, Barrister. You are the family lawyer. Just show me where to sign and I'll do just that. Okay. As soon as you sign these papers, you don't have anything in concern with him anymore. His business, properties, and so on. That's why it's very important you get a good lawyer who will speak for you. Of course, you can't go empty handed. Marista, if signing these papers will make my husband happy, please let me sign these papers. I don't want anything. I don't want his money. I don't want his properties. In the first place, they all belong to him. Everything he has, everything he owns today, he worked for. I didn't do anything. So I don't need his money. I don't need anything from him. The only thing I need from him is for him to open his mouth and tell me that he has forgiven me. That's all.
tell me honestly. You go to a jazz dance. Oh my god. No. You have to tell me the truth. This is the whole truth. It's nothing but true love. Ah, mom, it is new every morning. Like, I'm just meeting you for the first time. That's what true love does. You're deceiving me by this <laughs> I'm not You deceiving. have to tell me the truth. I'm sincere truth. <laughs> Admit it. I love you every day, more and more and more. <laughs> You're the best, and I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, let me go and swim for you, okay? Uh, please, like a fish. You don't want to swim, right? No, no, no. no. I, I'm just coming from the salon, please. We men and the yes. hands become. <laughs> All right, watch me. Be careful. myself into Take your house. look at my life if only I listened to my wife my lovely wife only if I listened to her and avoided my friend I wouldn't have been in this mess today look at my life where do I start from where do I run to do I run to? Huh? God, please, please, please help me. Help me, good. Help me, <clears throat> my, my in laws. My wife. Please, I. I've come to ask for forgiveness. I allowed the devil come into our home, me and my wife, to break our love. It's actually me, yes, me that caused it. What? Yes. I, I was the one who organized what seemed like a robbery attack on us. Oh? It's just to test the love my wife has for me. Martin. If I had known, I wouldn't have listened to my friend. Because my wife warned me. Please, my wife. Please. Marty. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Please. I, I still love you. Please. Since you have said to come back for your wife, there's no problem. Hey! Mm. My in laws, I am sorry for the way I acted. I. You don't need to be sorry for anything. You did what you're supposed to have done. And that was what every other man that is reasonable would have done. 
Because you don't dance with Osho. Oh, it's okay, my, my in-law. Uh, the most important thing is that you're now here to reconcile with your wife. And we're happy about it. It's okay, go. Oh? You know? Honey. You have heard everything. Please. Why don't you just go in and get your things so that we can go home? It's a pity that things turned out the way they did. It's, it's, it's a pity. But I am glad that you have forgiven me. And I have forgiven you. But I'm sorry. I am not going back to that house with you. Uh. Yes. I will not live under the same roof with you, Martins. <laughs> uh, Mariano, please don't be embarrassed. Uh, she used to joke at times. Papa, I am not joking. I've already signed the divorce papers and they are binding. Mm. Martins, I warned you. I warned you not to trust those guys you call your friends, but you didn't listen. You chose to trust them. You turned your back on me. You didn't trust me, the woman you called your wife. Now you want me to go back to that same house and live under the same roof with you. Chinasa! It's not going to happen. I can't even bear the thought of sleeping on the same bed with you again. Chinasa! I can't marry you again. I'm sorry. Chinasa! Wait, wait, wait. It's one about. Chinasa! Hey. Come back. I'm coming. Chinasa! your mind eh what are you trying to tell me that you've not learnt anything from the little time you've been in this village do you want to continue suffering for mama it is better for me to suffer it is better for me to suffer than live under the same roof with a man that claims he loves me but goes behind my back to plan evil against me god forbid eh yes asiocha asiocha your mother said asiocha not in this house mama no problem. I will leave your house for you. You see this your house? I will leave your house for you. But if it is to go back to Martin's house, God forbid, I will not go back to that house. No Did you hear what he said? Didn't you hear it? I will hey. not go back to that house. God what forbid. Hey! Chinasa! Okay. I am sorry for this embarrassment, uh, but I am sure she will go with it today. Please, don't worry yourself. You know she's a woman, she must behave as such. Look at her pardon face. You must accommodate that. Hmm? I do not intend to argue with you. Because she's your daughter. And she's also my wife. And there's a stage where a man and a woman would live under the same roof. They would understand themselves and be able to say what this or that person can do or what they can't do. They will understand their strength and weakness. As for my wife that I know, I don't think she was joking. From the things I heard from her today, those are no joke. But anyway, I keep my fingers crossed. It is true that you are her husband, but that has not cancelled the fact that she still remains my daughter. And I know her more than any other person. And I know that she must surely go back today with you. Eh? Well, oh man. It's that far easy. I know. Um, what did she say? I know. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that girl, but, uh, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Huh? Just calm down. Every time. Uh, my in-laws, um, there's no need of a flog in this issue. Absolutely. In case she turns around, please do let her know 
that my home is still her home. She's welcome anytime, any day. I have to be on my way now. Thank you very much. Okay, not a bit. Bye bye. Okay. Well, let me see. So what you are telling me now is that you will remain in this house and be disturbing me with monetary issues. Okay, to pocket your money, I don't need it. I am going to the city tomorrow. Pocket it. City? Huh? Why will you be staying in the city? And besides, who will take care of you then? My friend and I have made proper arrangements for that. And the money you need to take care of yourself? As soon as I get to the city, Papa, I'm going to start up a petty trading business. A friend of Martin has promised to give me 2 million naira. Shinaka! Loans. So because of common 2 million naira, common 2 million naira, that's why you want to leave your husband, Martin. Maka 2 million naira. Mama, I did not marry Martin because of his money. I married him because I thought we were in love. And as things are right now, I cannot go back to him. I have to start my life all over again. Hey! I remember... You call a liar. I thought she was joking. Papa, I'm not joking. I'm very serious. I am not joking. This is life. Hmm. I've been calling this woman from yesterday night till now and she still refused to pay my call. That sounds right. Huh? You heard me very well. I was begging you not to divorce your wife. You insisted. Now it's our own turn. But my friend, I did not come here for you to remind me or blame me of the things that I should have done or did. I came here for you to help me. Call her and beg her. Talk to her. Am I asking too much? Martin, I will do no such thing. You set her up in the first place. You refused to forgive her. And now you want me to talk to her on your behalf? I'm not an idiot. Look at me, I'm not an idiot. Oh, oh, please, I, I thought we were friends. That was before. Yes, of course. Eh? Yes. Let's stay together. I mean, like I was joking, but I had already made up my mind. I was, I was not going back. My only regret is that he did not pursue your right. The court would have made him split his wealth into two. By now, he would have got billions of naira. Yes, I am happy the way it is. Let's just let's just leave things the way it is. Look, I married Martins not because of his money, but because of the unconditional love I had for him. If I had left his house with something, he would have read another meaning into it. I needed to prove a point. Let him go with his money. I will survive with or without him. You're right anyway. Why you been hiding? I've been calling your phone and you refuse to pick my calls. Why? 
I can't remember giving you a check-up check call to say that I would like us to meet here today. Uh, excuse me? What's the meaning of that? See, 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 listen. I told you that there's no way you would divorce your wife in court, that both of you will not share your property, your wealth, she will take half and you will take the rest. I told you. I'm sorry to bust your bubbles. That same wife of mine that you're talking about left my house without a pin. I made it categorically clear to everybody that cared to listen that she does not need anything from me since I said I don't want the marriage anymore. <laughs> Stories that touch the heart. My friend, you're kidding me. I am not. You just painted it on the surface. Anyway, so let, me, let me save you the chase. Why should I even be mixing around with you? The havoc that you have wrecked in my family and in my marriage have added up to here. And therefore, I don't need your relationship anymore. I want you totally out of my life. Are you oh, out of your mind? I am not out of How my mind. How can you be saying such a thing? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you mad or something? I did not invite you here. If you don't want to leave here for me, I'll leave here for you. Now I've confirmed that you are mad. My friend, sit down. Oh, you walked out on me. Oh. Okay. Daddy. Take your cars. Take your money. His mom back. No, that's why I've come to see her. We don't have anything to talk about until she comes back. Honey, please, please, just, just hold on for me, please. I, I understand how you feel. I've actually called your mom, begged her to come back. But she refused. I, I, she's still upset with me. She even went further to say that she's not, get, she's not married to me anymore and that she does not want to be you people's mother again. What? Yes. Assistance now, honey. It's only you and your brother that can make this marriage work. You need to beg her, you need to talk to her, please. Okay, daddy, I've heard. Those ones, like, come over here. I should leave this one. Oh, I see the latest arrival. Are you serious? Yes. These, these are the ones I just came back. Hey! <laughs> you know, I love blue. I know. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is really, really. These clothes are lovely. Wait until you see this one. Hey, hey. Oh, who is calling me? Hello? Yes, this is she. Yes. Jesus! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes. What happened? Hey. Wait, hospital! Wait, hospital! Oh, God. What is it? Wait, 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 wait! Nurse! Nurse! Please, they called me, my daughter. Her name is Lucy. Please, where is she? Say something, please. Why are you keeping quiet? Eh? Please, somebody help me. Say so Martin, where is Lucy? They called me. They, they said she had an accident. Where is she? Martin, say something now. Answer me. Where? Hey. Hey.
forget